Hi right, guys, Gareth here from Heartfelt Horsemanship. This is Rocky, and um, he's a thoroughbred, and he has a history of rearing, so we've been working him through that. I um, won't go into what we're doing with that, we did cover a video with him um, of how we address rearing, and his rearing is seemingly a thing of the past at the moment. And, um, but I want to talk about another issue with him. A lot of the things that cause his rearing, I believe, is maybe just he didn't want to go or he wanted to go towards a certain area and people, when he wanted to go in that direction, he would have been picked up on two reins and he would have plowed through. Now, this applies to a horse like Rocky that's got problems, but it also applies to a young horse that doesn't understand. What I want to talk about today is the power of waiting. Um, horses don't intrinsically understand exactly what we're asking of them and for us to continuously increase the pressure when they don't understand doesn't help it just makes an anxious horse and might cause an explosion um, horses learn slower when they're anxious so um, so besides the danger aspect of putting more pressure <laughs> if you can get rid of her. Sorry about that, we just got interruption from another horse we're training at the moment. Um, besides the danger of putting too much pressure and causing them to explode, you're actually slowing down their learning process. So I was just going through my anti flight checks and I wanted to check out my hindquarters engagement and he froze up on me. Now, with a more advanced horse, when they freeze up on you, you might bring in another aid to get them to do the hindquarters engagement or whatever your request is you want to refer me. With a young horse or a horse that's got trouble you want to wait for them and have them learn that you will wait. So if I ask for the hindquarters engagement quickly that time um, and this to his better side so I'm going to do it again on his less than perfect side not his bad side now I've got to give him a little bit of release between, so if you guys just be patient with me. Okay, so I'll ask. Now, if he hadn't have crossed over as quickly, I wouldn't put more pressure. I'd just wait it out. So he understands that I am willing to wait for him to understand rather than putting more pressure. If you think of it when you're learning a new skill and you don't quite get it and you're trying to figure it out and someone keeps pushing you, egging you on, it doesn't make it easier, it makes it more difficult. Let's try it to this backup because we haven't worked much in this backup because the fact he rears, I, in fact, first couple of rides on a horse that rears, I won't even introduce a backup because I never want to pick up on two reins um, on a horse that rears. So I'll ask with my legs, bring him up, and yeah, so he, that was pretty good. <laughs> But the important thing here is to wait for the horse to understand. So let's try it with another task. I might ask him forward. I think he's going forward nicely. Now ask him to steer, put my leg on. He's arguing a little. I don't pick up the pressure. I just wait. You give a release when you give the size try. Again on this side. Right into the pity. Yeah, so I'm not really going to be able to show you the process of waiting because he's kind of responding to everything because I have been waiting. Um, if I put an argument with him, he would argue back. The, if we don't give resistance, they don't have anything to resist against. But the important thing for me is with a young horse or a horse that's had a history of some difficulties that needs retraining, we need to be able to wait for them and show them, let them learn that we are willing to wait, that they're not anxious about that pressure increasing. We'll try once more on his less than perfect side for disengagement. Okay, he's got it. Um, but the concept is we don't need to go to swinging that rope to his hind end when they're still learning. With more, more advanced horses, absolutely. Um, 
but letting them understand that you're going to wait for them to figure it out is going to be a reason that they don't get nervous when you're on there. Thanks guys, check in with you soon.